Dis-moi de au mieux. Ah, the hot. Good morning. It is day two of lock day two of locking myself in the cave. My sleep schedule is officially after. It is 5:09 p.m. I woke up at 4 p.m. Couldn't fall asleep until like 7 p.m. Ivy Ivy I has destroyed the sleep schedule. That's just what up. That's just what up. That that that. That's just what's up. <laughs> My hair is still in braids. I am gonna take this out today, I promise. It's just so not in the way and so wonderful. Um, so today I woke up and a few things happened. Team Super Israel, whose name is Shani, she um, is very heart-wrenching. She's going off to join the army because she turned of age. And so I had a very sentimental moment reading her message to me. Everyone jump on Twitter, give Team Super Israel an honorary salute because she holds it down for the team since day one. Um, and then I was thinking, okay, if I'm, the hardest part about going on a world tour, right, is making sure that the jokes I write and the concepts I come up with apply around the world. Because things that we might know in North America might not be as important in places like India around the world. So I actually messaged um, Beverly and Team Super India, two of my great supporters since time, to be like, hey, help me out. Does this make sense in India? So I might be just messaging my fans around the world asking if my tour makes sense where they are so if you get a message from me that's that's what's up i'm trying to make this a group effort up in here um so that's what's up i'm still how many times am i gonna say that's what's up hug yourself rewind hug yourself every time i say that's what's up including that time and then game of thrones is coming on tonight but first we eat oatmeal then we get to work huzzah that's what's up yeah. So it's several hours later, it is 8 p.m. I am done the first draft of my tour creative. Now I'm just going through and like formatting it properly and bolding things and underlining things. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of pages. Um, Game of Thrones favorited two of my tweets. I mean, it's a good day. There's an hour and left until Game of Thrones comes out. I'll probably live tweet it, probably eat something. But I mean, I'm sorry if my days aren't that exciting. I told myself I'd lock myself in this room until I did my tour creative. My phone be going off as if I'm not vlogging. The F. Um, and that's what I'm doing. It's actually really smart that I chose this room because of all the things on the wall. Every time I'm trying to think of like a joke or think of something relevant or think of a concept or think of a reference, I just look at the wall and I look at all the things that are popular right now. It's great. So it's like, look, there's like so many ideas all over the wall. This is just the best creative room ever to be working in. So good. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Uh, so yeah, it's real good. <laughs> First time me watching it live right now. I'm so excited. I'm all, and they keep favoriting all my tweets. I just <clears throat> just like that. It's over. Game of Thrones is so good. If you guys watch this, show, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Don't worry. But Daenerys, she's bae. Obviously, knowing me, you know I like her. But she's bae. Girl needs to sit on the Iron Throne though. Back to work. That's that was my break. Back to work. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy because <laughs> I just be sitting here. This, then there's this guy right here, just is all like up in the corner, just trip, tripping me out in this, bruh. It's not even that late. It's 11:22, but I'm randomly tired, and I just want to keep eating things. Um, I'm working on costumes now. It's exciting. Tomorrow, Chase and Anosha are gonna come over so we can touch base on tour stuff and choreo and dancer stuff, and everything's slowly coming together. Um, it would be so helpful to have other human beings in this room. You don't count, neither do you. Okay, you count, but not you, damn it. Um, but yeah, the situation right now. I really hope I don't sleep too late today. I do want to take my hair out and wash my hair because that's it. Tomorrow's Monday, it's video day. I'm probably going to do my parents react to Avi Avi Yak. Avi Avi Yak, because a lot of you have been requesting it, so that's the situation right now. Time to eat food unnecessarily. Um, so every time I feel like I'm having creative block, I just eat food. So I just like stay eating all the time. Look, I'm taking dishes upstairs and I'm just gonna come back down with more food. That's what's that. Hug yourself.
So I was rewarded for my good behavior. I went downstairs and I was like, I really want popcorn. And I opened this box of popcorn. It was buttery flavor, like intense buttery. And it was like so fattening. I was like, oh, no, I promised myself. It doesn't matter. No, I'm not doing it. Then I came upstairs and found light version. And therefore, I'm having this now because it's the light version, not as bad. You see, sacrifice a little. God finds, finds a way to pay you back. This is my motion for I'm about to have popcorn. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. 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 Vlogging and working out. That's what's up. All right, so I just worked out my arms, and so if I can't hold up the vlog camera tomorrow, you know why. I finally figured out how to use this bow flex here. I worked out a little bit, did a little bit of ab stuff. I'm just like, I'm gonna tell you something. You know the work ethic I have with other work does not translate to working out. I am the worst. It's like almost like I have a fear of working out because I'm the type of person when I start to do something, I need to like instantly be good at it. <laughs> at least that's what I try to do. Working out is not like that. You gotta build to a certain level. So the fear of like me starting something and not being able to like complete a work or whatever just scares me. Like I can't, it scares me. I'm the worst at working out. I'm the worst at cardio. Like ever since I was like a young girl, struggled with like running or anything that's cardio stamina, I can't. It boggles my mind how I was a dancer, like boggles my mind. Um, but yeah, oh my arm is broken. I think I'm gonna take all my hair now and uh, wash this ish. Yo, so before I take a shower, I gotta print out a bunch of stuff. My mom needs to print out for uh, the accountant appointment tomorrow. I don't do accountants and finances. My parents are going. I gotta print out a bunch of stuff. So we have one printer in my house. It's this transformer looking Optimus Prime over here. This is, this is it's a laser printer and it's black and white. So I can never print anything color. I hate printers. I feel like they never work and they're horrible and they're just designed to stress people. I hate you. I hate you. Without hate. I'm sorry, I don't hate you. I just I just strongly dislike you. Um, so I gotta print everything in like my parents' office um, when I need to print-ish. And it's so loud. So like everyone's sleeping right now, but this printer's gonna be like <laughs> And it's just gonna be a whole thing right now, but What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is awesome. The braids actually weren't that tight, so it's not probably been way bigger otherwise. But I mean, I dig it. I might just leave it like this now. I should wash it. It's pretty greasy still. <laughs> There's like loads of hairspray in it and ish. I'm just saying. What do you guys think of the permanent style? What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's pretty rad to be honest. And I know that because I use the word rad. Someone wanna come let her come. I popped a pimple and I put medicine on it, don't judge me. And I took out some I took out my blackheads. This is how much of friends we are. I'm showing you my swollen up face. Because I love you. Um it is like three thirty AM or something. My hair is wet. I am pooped. I'm gonna go to sleep tomorrow. I have a whole bunch of conference calls. I have a call at one to dis discuss my newly formed tour creative with my uh production company and then I have it's video day and then I have a call with the person who is directing my tour documentary um and then I have an interview at five that, that calls at 3 30 then I have an interview at five and then after that Chase and Notion are coming over because we need to touch base on choreo and other creative stuff so it's a jam-packed day is a lot to do but um it's gonna get done when am I going to make my video? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Thank you so much for joining me on another day. The tour is coming. It's a real thing. If you live in Australia, your tickets are still on still. The link is in the description, releasingtour.com. Grab your tickets. My goal is to have it so every single show for this tour is sold out. And usually when I put my mind to something, I do it. So grab your tickets before they sell out. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are. And you deserve to smile. So smile. Boo -boo -boo. And I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe.